Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. We've been working with the new Arduino Giga Display Shield. We assembled it with the Giga R1 Wi-Fi. We checked out the graphics library, the LVGL examples, and we also checked out Arduino graphics examples. I even got to make my own image and display it on the Giga Display Shield. Yay! We're following the Getting Started with Giga Display Shield guide. Look for the link down below. Yeah, we're talking about the Giga Core here. We're basically going to check off all the libraries used in this article. We know the H7 video library is included with the board manager definition for the Giga R1 board. You want this Arduino Embed OS Giga boards. Uh, board support installed, and that allows you to select the Giga R1. There we go, Giga R1. Let's close that. Now let's check out and make sure we've got all of the libraries installed. I know we've installed this, but we're going to just go ahead and check. Open Library Manager, and we can just copy and paste these and do a quick search. There it is installed. A lot of these are version 1 or version 1.1. Arduino Giga Display Touch. I know we've already used that in the previous example somewhere. Yeah, that's installed, version 1. Graphics library, that was the first one we did, so that's got to be in there. Version 1 installed. Now here is the Giga Display Shield itself. We haven't installed that yet, and this is going to provide support for the microphone. No, the microphone actually comes with the Giga R1. But yeah, I think, I guess this gives us the RGB. I don't know. But you got to have that installed. You see that there. And then this is the IMU, the BMI 270, BMM 150 IMU library. Do we have that installed? Yes, we do. Version 1.1. Okay, I was going to do the camera connector next, but we're going to do the camera connector next. We're going to cover the IMU, the microphone, and the RGB on the Arduino Giga Display Shield. First up is IMU. You got a gyroscope sketch, an accelerometer sketch. Oh, yeah. yeah like I said, we're going to cover the microphone and we're going to cover the RGB built-in RGB pixels. Okay, let's hide the library manager. Now I took a wrong turn here. I opened the example sketches from the library for the sensors, the original BMI 270, BMM 150, simple accelerometer, simple gyroscope, simple magnetometer. I don't believe the magnetometer is implemented on the Giga Display Shield. At least I couldn't get any readings when I ran that sketch. So I'm just opening each of these, the accelerometer, gyroscope. I'm going to cut out the part about the magnetometer because, well, like I say, I couldn't get a reading off of it. Okay, let's take a look at Simple Accelerometer. Great, it's going to include the library for the BMI 270, BMM 150. The thing I don't like about the sketch is we got a Giga Display Shield, and this is just going to print the values out to the serial port. So I'm going to go back to the graphics library and find the simple example for printing text on the screen. We're going to do a mashup. You know how once I start getting used to working with a gadget or the code, I'll start doing mashups, taking two sketches and putting them together to do something different, do whatever I want. And that's what I encourage you to do. Learn the basics, do hello world, and then after that, try out each individual thing, then start bringing individual things together in a, in a sketch that suits your needs. Yeah, this was the sketch that does the fill screen and prints Hello World. You want to include the fill screen because if you remember the previous video about the graphics library, the screen was kind of dirty in the background until we learned to use display fill screen and fill it with a particular color. 
I'm going to play around with the white space. Too much white space is just as confusing as not enough white space. So generally, I'd vacuum all of the white space out, and you'll see me put white space back in as we go. There we go. All right. I'm just debating how much should be under setup and how much should be under void loop. Yeah, because the bulk of that program was under void setup, so nothing would happen after void setup runs. We need the display stuff that's going to actively display data in the void loop section or in a function section. And we'll comment out, hello world. Now I think we're ready to look at the code for accelerometer. I'm still debating what should be in void loop here. <laughs> it's Sunday morning and I spent about half an hour, 45 minutes. I stumbled. Like I said, I took a wrong turn using the example sketches from the original library. And I'll show you where the Giga Display Shield examples are in a minute. Yeah, we're going to start serial. We'll start the IMU. And then they're doing a little display setup there showing the sample rate. Yeah, we want to make sure we include the IMU library. Let's get that in there first. That goes up there at the top. There we go. We'll pop in some white space. Now, what to put in void setup? A little more white space between void setup and void loop. I want to keep the serial part in there just so I can troubleshoot just in case. So we're going to copy and paste that. Yeah, one thing to note when it says wow not serial, you have to be hooked up to a computer. So I took the wall not serial out so that I could take it over to my camera room and plug it into a USB port. Didn't do anything plugged into the USB port because it's waiting to hook up to serial. Okay, so next we're going to copy the printing aspect, the reading the values of the IMU and printing them. And we're going to put that in the void loop section here. I can tell you that the slash T didn't work out in this instance. It actually printed a special character using display print. And then all of the characters actually, the values actually went so wide they'd go on to the next line. It was rather unreadable. Yeah, I thought I could get away with just changing serial with display. And I hoped that slash T would work, but it weren't wound up printing a special character. So all of the values ran into the next line. It was rather unreadable. So we're going to use delay 100. That's a tenth of a second. That'll slow things down a little bit. Don't forget the semicolon. We'll go ahead and save this. Now this will actually compile, but it actually won't do anything. And I spent about a half an hour on Sunday morning figuring out why it's not doing anything. Yeah, I'm going to make a folder for the Giga Display because this is specific to the Giga Display hardware itself. And let's just call this Accelerometer Display. Okay, nicely done. Yeah, so I'm already debating the mashup here. The, do I set individual cursor positions for X, Y, and Z. You can see I'm kind of sizing that up right now. Just want you to understand some of the thought process going on here. I was debating, is that slash T going to work? What's going to happen here? So I just moved that one instance of display set cursor down into this section right before print, and then I put it back again. We'll go ahead and compile it. And of course, I'm going to crop some of that out. Yeah, you see it compiles successfully, and you can send it to the device, and it actually doesn't do anything. The screen remained blank. 
I still had hello world on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had read this part first because the sensors are not on the main eye to see, you have to implement wire one. So Bosch sensor class IMU wire one. And then there's also the difference. The example sketches I was using has IMU in uppercase. So you can see here, I had to add that Bosch sensor class IMU wire one here at the top. And I had to do a search and replace for uppercase to lowercase IMU. And then I also set separate coordinates for each X, Y, Z value and got rid of the slash T, the tabs. And we're going to go ahead and send that. And there you go. You can see X value, Y value, and the Z value. Now I always wonder why is it 99 minus 99? I think that that's the acceleration of gravity. I'm just guessing. It's interesting though, there's a subtle acceleration value going east and west. Watch the X and Y values as I rotate it. It's five and one, rotate it and it becomes zero and four, rotate it back, one and four, rotate it back, five and one. <laughs> so is there some lateral acceleration as well? Is that the Earth's rotation? I don't know. <laughs> I would bet the gyroscope is going to look just like the accelerometer. I know they're different. And when they work together, you can do things like stabilize a quadcopter. But we're going to go ahead and go on with the microphone and the PDM libraries shipped with the GigaCore board definition. So we don't need an additional library to add. And we're going to use the serial plotter, which is, was a nice addition to the Arduino IDE. Now I'm going to show you where to find all of the proper Arduino Giga Display examples. And that's down here under Arduino Giga Display. Yeah, these are all of the sketches from this guide and more. There's the IMU sketches, accelerometer and gyroscope. I, they don't mention the magnetometer. I don't know if it's implemented or on the Giga Display Shield. Leave a comment down below if you know. I couldn't get any values out of it. There's the microphone PDM serial plotter sketch. Okay, it's relatively simple. And it's just printing that value from the microphone out in, in void loop. Serial print line sample buffer. Let's go ahead and send that. Okay. Yeah, this is where the microphone is on the Giga Display Shield. So let's go ahead and fire up that serial plotter. So you can see we've uploaded this sketch, the PDU serial plotter, and we're going to use serial plotter. There we go. We can see my voice on the serial plotter. Check. One, two, three. Check. Check. One, two, three. All right. Up next is the RGB pixel. Their example just turns the blue pixel on and off, but I go into the Giga Display example sketches. There we go, Arduino, Giga Display, RGB. And their simple RGB lights each of the pixels, red, green, blue, and then lights them all together and you get white. There we go. It's right next to the microphone. Red, green, blue, red, green, blue, white, red, green, blue, white, red, green, blue, white. I guess it could serve as some kind of indicator or warning light or something. I'm glad I didn't just go with the blink of the blue pixel example. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about the Arduino Giga Display Shield so far. And we are going to do the camera next. Give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. And before you go watch more of my Arduino Giga Display Shield videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.